Hello everyone, this is a video tutorial of ESA Studio Backup for Mac. Firstly, please double click the installation file and drag it to the applications. Then please open application and find the icon. Double click it to run the software. The trial version can be fully functioned for 30 days. If you have purchased the license, you are able to activate it here. The first function is Backup, which can create backup tests on selected files, file folder, and apps data. You should create new project in the first place, and then you are able to select the destination to save the backups. There are some other settings you could save. You could also add the file and folder to the backup using the File Plus button below and begin the process. The second function is Backup Archive. It is able to make backup archive on schedule and compress backup files to save drive space. Please create a new project first. You can name it Archive or something else and then click the OK button. In this page, you are able to select the destination to save the backups and choose the backup method you want. If you need to add any new files or folders, you can simply use the File Plus button below and begin the process. The third function is Disk Clone, which is used to clone your source disk along with all saved data to the target drive. Firstly, please click this button to add a new project. Setting the clone on schedule and automatically start the clone are available in this page. Once you are done, you can click OK to save the clone task. After that, Please select the source disk and the destination disk to process the clone. The last function is about file sync. It allows you to select files or files folders to sync and choose one way or bi-directional sync model. You should create a new project and name it first. And some other small settings are available in this page. You could take a look to set it and then click the OK to save it. Afterwards, please select the source to sync and choose the destination. This is how our to-do backup for Mac works. If you still have any other questions after watching this video tutorial, you may just contact us by sending us an email to support at ezas.com. Thank you for watching this video.